My fellow Catholics, if you have not heard of Father Bartholomew Holshauser, Venerable Father Bartholomew Holshauser, I highly recommend that you read up on this very holy priest from the 17th century. Now, Father Holshauser had um, a few visions, and he was also inspired to do a commentary on the Book of the Apocalypse. And I highly recommend that you read the introduction, the visions, most importantly, the commentary on the Apocalypse, and then the Mighty Monarch and Holy Pope. In fact, these four um, prophecies within the Church are Lady of Fatima, Saint Malachi, and the Prophecy of the Popes. And the Book of the Apocalypse are all interrelated, and we are living in these times. Now, the Book of the Apocalypse, um, Father Holshauser, his vision was very simple. He he saw that the seven churches in Asia represented um, the seven ages of the church. And he goes into detail um, where one begins, where one ends. Very, very interesting. But after you read that, and apparently he stopped writing on the... Um, uh, the commentary on the book of Revelation because you no longer felt inspired. And it leaves you with a question that is very interesting. If the seven churches of Asia represent the seven ages of the church, so you naturally have to ask a question in regards to seven seals and the seven trumpets and the seven plagues to those also correspond with the seven ages so in other words the first seal corresponds with the first age the first trumpet corresponds with the first age and so forth so what I did was I went through the book of the apocalypse otherwise known as Revelation and the, you can read the entire uh, book right here the Dewey Rames version on this one here, the entire book. If you haven't read it, read it. If you have read it, read it again. And if you're very, very familiar with it, then I suppose you can continue on. But what I did is I, I put the entire book there. Then I separated all the passages that refer to each individual age based on the... Um, whether it's the seven angels and so forth. So to give you an example, we go here to the second age. So I took all of the verses from the book of the Apocalypse and moved them, all the verses for the second seal, the second trumpet, the second plague, and I put them all under one section for that age. And then the second part of this page is all of these verses, but just grouped together as a coherent paragraph it is very interesting how the book lays out in fact the book of revelation once you separate all the verses for based on the age um, the age of the church so the first age the second age the third age the fourth age and the fifth age and the fifth age apparently is the one we're living in right now or about to end that one and about to begin the sixth age but basically, once you do all this, what you are left with are literally the three woes. And when you read it in that manner, so that there's the chapter numbers and uh, there's where it says, you know, the second woe was passed and behold, the third woe will come quickly. But when you read the entire, um, what's left of the verses, in the three woes, it is a coherent, it is understandable, and it makes complete sense. So, this is not in any way any kind of um, canonical 
structure. This is purely taking what the prophecy of, of Venerable Father Holzhauser on the commentary and extending it to its full potential. In other words, if seven ages refers to the seven, um, the seven churches refers to the seven ages, then the question rightfully must be asked that, well, does that mean that the other uh, seven plagues, the seven, um, seven trumpets and so forth, do those all fall in line with that? And it is amazing how coherent everything becomes. Now, you have to understand that the book of Revelation is a sealed book. It, it, you cannot read it without realizing that it's somehow sealed in the way it is written. Uh, you know, on one, you'll be reading one part where um, all the mountains are removed. Then just a few paragraphs later, you're reading how everybody's hiding in the caves of the mountains. Well, how can that be if the mountains were all removed? So the the structure of the book of Revelation is definitely sealed. In other words, it's hidden in the way it is written. But I highly recommend that you read this because when you read this in this manner and the prophecies of Father Holzhauser, then you match it up to Our Lady of Fatima and especially on the third secret. So, for instance, in the third secret, and this is right from the Vatican's website from what they released, which you can download here as well, where we have and we saw an immense light that is God. Something similar to how people appear in a mirror when they pass in front of it. A bishop dressed in white. We had the impression that it was the Holy Father. Now, folks, I don't know if you understand that, but bishops do not wear white. Only the popes wear white. Now, no matter which side of the fence you may be on, we have a bishop currently dressed in white. So if you believe that Pope Benedict truly abdicated his papacy, then that means that he is no longer the pope, but he is just a regular bishop. But he still wears white. The same goes for Pope Francis. If you believe that Pope Benedict is still the true Pope, then that means that you have a bishop, Pope Francis, who's wearing white. So no matter which way you look at it, no matter how you slice it, we have a bishop dressed in white. 